So at the end of every sports season, I'm always looking for something fun to give the coaches and my kids teammates. And this time I'm going to be doing customized baseballs. So my younger son is on the Oakland Athletics and I just did a Google search and I decided to do a two-toned A's logo and just keep it kind of simple. So I uploaded it to Cricut Design Space and I'll show you how I get the two-tone from this one cutout. So if you watch my beer koozie video, it's pretty much the same thing that I'm doing just to get the colors that I want. So I'm just doing an offset on the outside and I just want it really small. So about 0 0.08, I think look good. And then I'm just gonna make that, that orangey yellow color. So I'm gonna select both and group it. And then we're gonna resize it to one and a half inches. So I already measured the ball and I'll show you the placement when we go back to the table. But um, about a 1.5 inch logo would fit well. So to get the font, I just Google searched it and on defunct.com, they suggested San Andreas. So I downloaded it and installed it into my font file. So now I'm gonna show you how to do the name in the season. So I'm just gonna do a text box and type my son's name and select San Andreas. And then now I'm just going to put or type in spring. And unfortunately, this San Andreas font doesn't have numbers in it. So I had to find another font that's similar or the numbers could match. So when I typed in 2022, this is what showed up. And I like Milkshake. I d I've downloaded this one from Creative Fabrica and it was free. So I'm gonna use that. So because I'm using two different fonts, I kind of have to play with it a little bit to get it the right size. So I'm going to try to have the spring in like one inch. So between the two grid lines. And then I'm just going to try to bring in the 2022 and make it a little bit smaller so it matches the spring. So the grid lines are really helping you here. And then now, if you look at the 2022, it needs to, it needs a little work. So I'm going to ungroup it. And then if you can tell the 22, the last twos are really close. So I'm going to move over the zero and then the first two. So it, the spacing matches. And then once I get it good, I'm going to select all and group it back together. Just make all the words green now. The same green as the middle of the A's. So they all cut out on the same mat. So if you look at the spring, it still has the cut lines between every letter. And we don't want that. We want it to be one seamless piece of vinyl. So we're going to ungroup and then we're going to weld it. And that should take care of it. But welding is kind of permanent. So you want it to be one of the last steps. So now we're going to group or select both of those and group it again. And then we can change the size. And then so for the Ericsson, it has the cut lines also. So we're still going to have to weld that. Okay, so now we can adjust the size. The part with the name, it's about one inch high. So I want the words to be within a 1.75 height. So the Ericsson will be 0 0.4, 0 0.4 of an inch and the spring 2022 is going to be a 0.25 height. And then we're just going to bring it close together and select both. And then we can align them to center horizontally. And if that looks good, we can group it together and I didn't show it here, but also attach. Okay, so now we're just gonna delete the new, the new ones that I made and use the old ones. So once we hit make it, 
We want to make sure to select mirror on both mats since we're using HTV. So I don't think I mentioned this before, but I'm using Caesar Easy Weed Stretch HTV and it's pretty thin. So I'm gonna select Everyday Iron On for my base material. So now I'm just gonna cut it out. So just make sure you mirrored and you have the shiny side down. Okay, so I have all my vinyl cut out and I do have to say something about the Caesar Easy Weed Stretch. It is easy to weed, but only when things are like not intricate. So this is, so the A's came out fine, totally fine. But the names, the spring part was super hard to weed. I guess because the vinyl is stretchy and the little pieces that didn't cut all the way through or I don't know, it just kind of stretched out and it was so hard to weed. Like I think I couldn't use any of the spring 2002s and I did 12 names. There's 12 um, kids in his team, on his team. So what I had to do, because I already did it, like I cut it all out in one sheet. Um, I just did the spring 2022s in a 0.4 font or sorry, 0.4 inch height font, same font, but I just made it 0.4 inch and that worked out way better. It was still a pain in the butt to weed. Yeah, it was, <laughs> but it's okay because I'm now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to cut off the part, the spring that doesn't work. So just make sure I don't cut into the Y. And then what I did was put the name down and then put that one after. It's fine. It, it's just one extra step instead of doing it all together. But in a way, it's easier because, you know, the ball is on a curve or it's curved. So bigger pieces of HTV is harder to put on. But okay. Anyway, just want to mention that because, yeah, if you're following along on the video, and doing exactly what I'm doing. I just wanted to mention that. So I had two teams to do this for. My older son is on the Boston Red Sox and I already did his and I had to rush because his last game was this past weekend. So I just finished his and they came out really nice. Although the navy, I used a Cricut navy and it looks almost black. I wish it was a little lighter. But other than that, I loved it. I did a font that's similar to the Boston Red Sox B. And so I'm really just doing the same thing for the Oakland A's. Um, but this kind of font was easier, just FYI. And also using all uppercase, there's a lot less um, details. So that's another trick. And these balls I bought on Amazon, it came in a huge bucket like this. So big bucket and there were 24 balls so that was perfect because I have 12 on each team um, it is a leather ball I didn't realize there were so many different kind of balls and you I don't know leather is better than synthetic I guess um, I guess raised stitching is better but those are really expensive and you know this is for kids especially for my youngest son they're like five and six so they don't care and so this is the one i bought i'll link it down below it was like the best price that i found for a bulk thing of baseballs that were leather because um, i think the synthetic leather leather it could be easier to melt too so i was a little worried about that and i just wanted to do leather so I believe it was $78 for 24 balls. I think that comes out to be about three-ish dollars per ball. So total with the, I did buy new vinyl because I didn't have all these colors. I mean, I think it's about a $4 ball. I, I don't know, not great with the math. Anyway, so to do the HTV, the first thing I did, I don't know if this is 100% necessary, but I thought 
it couldn't hurt, right? I'm just gonna alcohol wipe the ball. Because it is leather, so you don't want to be too aggressive with alcohol, but you do want it to not be too slippery where the HGV is going to slip off or come off. So I'm just going to let this dry and I'll show you how I got the measurements. So when I looked at it, the best place to put the logo was here. And this is about... Uh, 1.75 inches i would say and you always want to leave a little bit of a margin so that's why i did a one and a half inch width for the a's and if you're doing a different team i would just follow the same suit one and a half inch width but then also um measure the height too because you don't want it to be going like all the way down here you want it to kind of stay where you can see it from the front so I would say a maximum of two inches for um, height for the logo. And then to put the name, I thought it'd be nice or cute right up here. And this was a one inch height, but that's from stitch to stitch. That's why I wanted it to be one or 0.75 of an inch. And then you have kind of a lot of space. Like I had like Mackenzie and that took about almost three inches, not quite, because it is a 0.4 height um, maximum for the name. But yeah, so that's how I did this one. Okay, so I've, it's pretty dry now. And I always cut out extra, that's why I have two. Because I don't want to have to go back in and recut. So the thing I love about the Caesar Easy Weed stretch is it goes on super fast, like two seconds and it's on there and you just kind of have to go over it again, but it, it sticks on really quickly. And then I just bought um, the Caesar heat tape and this is not totally necessary, but it did help. So I'm just going to take off a little bit. And I just use something that I can put the ball on and keep it stable. And then I have my heat press mini on the lowest setting. So it's good to go right now. So I'm just really eyeballing it. <clears throat> and because it's on a curve, it is pretty hard. Or it's just a little more challenging to do. So for this particular logo, You'll have to figure it out for every one that you do. It was easier for me to do this apostrophe in the S first and then do the middle of the A, kind of roll this way to the top and then go down this one and this one. That way there's no wrinkles, it's not stretched out or anything. Um, but yeah, it's different for everyone. Like for the B, it was better if I went yeah, from the middle to the top to the bottom but it's not perfectly on there or as perfect as I would like if you look closely. So yeah, just a few seconds and it'll be stuck on there. So I'm just rolling it down. We don't want any wrinkles and this pulls away from the carrier sheet super quick so you can tell already it's about to come off so yeah it's on there it's not fully like on there yet or permanently on there yet but I still have to do this green A so I'm doing the same thing. I'm kind of, I, I aligned it to the A, the triangle in the middle. But first I'm going to make sure that the apostrophe and the S are centered. And this is all by trial and error. The first one I did, I did the A first and the apostrophe and the S were just slightly like uncentered. 
not bad, but I don't know. I, I guess I noticed this kind of stuff. And then, so I'm gonna do the middle of the A now. The top. And then I kind of look when I press it down because you can kind of control. It is a stretchy vinyl, that's why. So you do have a little bit of give, which is good and also bad. So yeah, that was super fast. I always like to double check it's on there, but you know, I always like to make sure, especially if it's a gift I, for kids, I want it to be really on there. So I just hit a part, piece of parchment paper paper and I'm just going to smooth it over for a couple seconds like all around really just make sure the edges are on there and now I'm putting a little bit of pressure so now it's really smooth it's on there yeah easy so now I'm just going to do the name so putting it upright on the little stand I'm going to put the name on the upper half, but not in the stitching. And then this is where the tape kind of helps. I just do one side and I'm really just going to slide it across each letter. Okay, so I have the name and now I'm going to do the spring. And I purposely spaced the, I guess the HTV out so that I would have some covering over the name. I didn't want to make it a little strip and then it would be super hard to not touch the, the name lettering. Like if I had it like this, I'd really have to like make sure the iron didn't touch the vinyl itself. So that's why I have it kind of big up there. So I'm just eyeballing it to the center. And then I put the tape down on one side and hold it with my finger on the other. So now I'm just gonna do the same thing with the parchment paper and go over the whole name and really smooth it over. That looks good and I'll show you how I packaged it in a photo at the end but so this is for my nine-year-old son and this is for my six-year-old I'm just gonna give it to them like this my nine-year-old I they didn't do it because they were having too much fun playing but I was gonna have them sign all the balls with their teammates so that's an option too if you have time it's really hard to get 12 boys to get together and you know, sign balls when they can be playing on the playground or something. But yeah, so that's an option. Or you can give this to your coach and have your whole team sign it. So the team mom did have her own ball and then the kids signed that one. But yeah, I saw her trying to wrangle all the kids and it was too hard. So I didn't want to deal with it. But yeah, I think that's a really cute coach gift. And if you watch my other video, the beer koozie one, we're going to give them that and a case of some craft beer. But yeah, so thanks for watching and I hope you like this end of season gift idea. This would work on soccer balls, footballs would be a little bit harder because it's textured, but it is possible to do. Maybe basketballs, but yeah. So thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.